Thanos was way too strong because he got his guy very quickly. This is a lobby where maybe Kariel or Vandar are good. Yes! Is Vandar good in an undead situation? I haven't played Vandar that much. Let's go Vandar. I haven't played Vandar at all and I feel like the hero is kind of underrated. Kariel is okay in a spot like this. I just think Vandar would be like better. Perform a bit cleaner. Bodies are more bodies are more fun than quests because they're called bodies. I mean, I kind of like bodies and quests a similar amount. And I also understand that they can both be high rolly at times. And that's okay. They're still a great mechanic. Good start, right? Especially Tavern Tippers with the uh, Rider follow-up. I think it can be very good. The best way to solve this would be receiving damage depending on the turn you are at. And start at 2 damage, turn 2 you take maximum 3 damage. That will be like pretty boring I would say. I kind of like the way currently things are. With a high roll happening once in a while. Stand rather than having like a more a boring environment I would say. Not more fun, they're more pog. Big difference. Okay, okay. I'll back away. <sighs> Welcome back. I hope we're always on the same side. You're here. Let's talk. <clears throat> Prizes, quests, bodies, or nothing. Let me give you my tier list. Vanilla Battlegrounds is the worst. Worst. Then we have... Um... Prizes. Then we have old bodies. Then we have new bodies. And then the best were quests. But quests were the best in some moments. Like I feel like towards the end they went a little bit too crazy. And current bodies are way more fun than quests were at the end. So it's kind of like very close between current bodies and quests. But I would say vanilla is the worst. Everything is better than vanilla. And then prices are probably like the worst mechanic afterwards. And then old bodies are clearly worse than new bodies and clearly worse than quests. You are mighty as the black dragon flight. Does that make sense? Morning RD, I never get to see you this early, but I'm up very early to smoke a pork shoulder. Very excited, one of my favorite things to eat. Nice. Enjoy. Hell yeah, brother. I've never smoked meat myself, but I like smoked meat. I also like pork that is like super cooked. I forgot how it's called. It's like pulled pork, I think. When you cook it so much, it like falls off the bone. Xadaxar with the two hoodies. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Why get only one hoodie when you can take two with such a good promo? Have a good day. Thank you so much. Have an amazing day as well. And yes, guys, we have a promo now. At your request, if you get two hoodies or more, you get free shipping worldwide. People are complaining that the shipping is like too expensive to Europe, and I agree. And the solution we found is to give free shipping if you get two or more. <laughs> Hope it's good. Sweet Bunny, thank you for the 21 months. Ardeo yesterday, no promos for now. I mean, <laughs> we try to make it fair for the people that also bought, you know? If we give free shipping to like everybody worldwide, then it's gonna be like crazy, right? Next time, leave nothing to chance. But yeah, shipping was definitely a problem. We tried to solve it as best as we could. <clears throat> but yeah, we're not gonna have any more promos or discounts or stuff like that until the end of the um, sale. So this is like the best we can do in regards to um, shipping. Just make, giving you like free shipping if you buy 
two or more. We just try to make the situation good for everybody. That's it. Why not start scaling the body now? Good question. Probably should have went for the body here. I feel like it's a bit inefficient. Like next time I can take the body and buy a minion and tip. Am I thinking too much of the tipper? Maybe. Arc Demon Sin? No. What made you decide to order from America and not from Europe? Well, the company that we're working with is America based. And they help the designs, they do the production, they do the shipping, they do everything. They are the best partners we could have found. And if I would work with somebody from Europe, we would have problems shipping to America. It would be the same problem but opposite. And yes, mo most I, I have more viewers by region from Europe than from America, but by country I have more viewers from the United States than any other country. So like, I cannot say that, oh, I have no US viewers. I have uh, quite a lot of US viewers, thankfully. So I try to find a good solution, but no matter what you do, unless you do something at like a super global scale, you're gonna have some people uh, that are not happy. But we try to make it right for those people as well, by giving the free shipping uh, promotion. No Rat Pack? Nah. I feel like Rat Pack is a little bit cheesy. Double Rider accomplishes whatever you wanna do. I also wanna like win fights, I wanna be strong. Like, would you have bought a Rat Pack over the Salty Looter? Because I'm always buying the Corpse Refiner to, to make some money. How many Romanian viewers do you have? Uh, between 7 and like 9%. Quite a lot compared to Romanians on Twitch. So shout out to my Romanians. I mean my Romanians, I don't own them. But you know what I mean. Would have liked one extra minion to die so that uh, both my hero power and the storm pike trigger. You don't own them, but you could. How 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 much can I buy you for, Dark Hunter? Tell me. I'm only joking, by the way. It's just a joke. I don't actually want to buy. Raw Dark Hunter here. Unless the price is good. I can buy you for a hoodie. You're not cheap. These hoodies are very high quality. So I totally understand you, okay? High quality. Who do you want to lie to? Every merch is trash. My brother, I intentionally put so much effort into making sure that the hoodie is absolutely flawless before releasing it because I want it to be different than other merches. It's it's really like high quality materials. Like, I don't know if you can see it from the camera, but it's like really good materials. We're not using garbage. I feel like a lot of streamers think more about the logistics than the design and the quality of the materials. Maybe I thought too much of the design and the quality of materials and not enough of the logistics. But again, I hope the shipping solution is good enough. Ah, the trades are so bad. At least we killed the six drop so we don't take a million damage. Ready to tamper with the affairs of mortals?
The Eternal Summoner is kind of good on this hero. I think I like it more than Greta. I would buy one, but since it's not a zip up, I would never wear it. I mean, I don't want to like talk about the hoodie the whole stream, but I also prefer zip ups to hoodies. This one just feels different though. And I don't even have it like in oversized um, a measurement. I usually wear medium and I got a medium and I don't know, it just feels better than other hoodies. Just, just feels better. I don't know. I get why people wear hoodies now. But I also am a zip up enthusiast. We went with a hoodie over a zip up because the design was looking better on a hoodie. That's it. Like it's easier to like print something on the front of it. With a zip up, you would have to like interrupt and or like go on one side or another. I hope we're always on the same side. But yeah, okay, let's focus on the game now. Enough hoodie talk. I feel like I already like um, annoyed some people with how much I talked about the hoodie and they're like, come on, I cannot wait for this week to be over. <laughs> By the way, while we are talking about the hoodie and playing the game on autopilot, Tavern Deeper got massive. Like, massive. I went to six just because I want to find more summoners and stuff like that. Can't wait for next week uh, to see what merch you're gonna launch next week. I have nothing prepared for the near future. Don't worry. <clears throat> and if I am to do more merch stuff, I'll try to look more into logistics as well as the design. Start selling... <clears throat> okay. I'm only getting sexual suggestions. I need to release like a sexual item for like the next Valentine's Day or something and see how many people actually would buy it. Everybody would buy it anonymously to not show up on the on the stream that they bought RDU underwear. I mean, one thing is selling RDU underwear, another thing would be selling RDU's underwear. Or RDU'sed underwear. That would be a bit too much. Dude, if I had one more health, I would survive and trade. It's crazy how healthy my minions are getting. And sticky. As well. Ready to tamper with the affairs of mortals. Fort can be really good here, but I don't have taunt. Ligo is okay. Do I want module and mackerel? I don't feel like it's a good synergy. Double mama. You can do so many things, it's crazy. I want Titus. It's weird because every single minion seems very tempting with the extra health. That one is dismissed. I'll give you a good fight. Leroy Jenkins. I'll do what I can. Ha 
Somebody redeemed the sub a while ago. Checking right now, one sec. Yep, sorry for the delay. I trust your discretion out there. Sorry, sorry for the delay. Are we not poking the queen? Good. It's funny how healthy my Baron is. Also, the the the, the teapot is getting big. Like it's getting so big that I'm considering not kicking it. Kind of wild. Many thanks. Many thanks to you for the patience. Other people would have raged at me. Be like, are you where's my sub? So yeah, thank you so much, Dark Hunter, for um reminding me. Next time, leave nothing to chance. Remember your training. Remember your training. Do I town the deeper? That makes it like an easy target for Leroy. Easy boombox pivot. Should I? Ah. Boombox is not bad. Practice. A calculated choice. Soldiers for gold? How barbaric. Do I need the lieutenant or can I get just get another Titus? <laughs> you have amassed a great force. This comb can work. It's a little bit of each annoying part about uh, Titus. We have the boombox, we have the sound, and we have the G. I'm turbo annoying currently. Let's go like this. Okay. Dude, I have so much health, it's funny. Too bad my summoner didn't die, but now I got another summoner. Like, lol what? Lol what the fuck? Exact board space. Okay. Exact lethal. Exact lethal, exact board space. Destroyed. Destroyed and demolished. Um. This player is gonna be a bit more complicated to beat. Second kind of Eternal is really good. Surely. Okay. Let me think, let me think, let me think. I see what I wanna do. Coiler out. Coiler is like too many summons. I like something like this to block myself from Hyra with the Leroy. What do you think, guys? I want your opinion. I think this is good. 
we know Lady Vash has a Hydra, okay? So let's just let the Hydra hit and then die to Leroy. And then we have the summoners with two Titus's. Which should be enough. I have like a million health on my Titus. Board is good, order seems good. Thank you. Will be hard to beat Hooktusk. Hooktusk is such a high rolly hero, it's crazy. There was a good question in chat. Does it cost you anything to give the sub? Uh, yes, basically, it costs me whatever cut Twitch takes from my subs. Like, I have a sub split with Twitch. When somebody gives a sub, Twitch takes the percentage. If I gift it, I basically pay the percentage to Twitch. Yes. So Jeff Bezos gets richer. But it costs me less than if I would give the sub to, like, a random channel. So now why do I do it? Because I want to reward the lo very loyal viewers that uh, spend a lot of time watching by gifting them like something, like a sub, just as a thank you. I hate that this went first. I wasted a lot of swings. Is one that is enough to carry me? It might be enough. I have a very loyal viewer, where is my sub? Well, show me the channel points and I'll give you the sub. Thank you Trevor again, thank you for the 21 months, I appreciate it. Hooktusk is always a high roll hero except when you're playing it. Now, when I'm playing Hooktusk, I also admit it's a high roll hero. Guys, I think you have the wrong impression of me. Do I, am I the type of person that just like complains for no reason? I complain, but I also like understand the perspective of the high roller. I'm also enjoying when I'm the one high rolling, okay? I love to be the one who knocks. Hooktask is also crazy OP when I play her myself, okay? I'm not saying like, oh, Hooktask is uh, overpowered when my opponent's late and it's garbage when I play it. No, no, no. And if that was the case, it would be my problem, okay? It would be my fault that I'm just bad. And I couldn't make it work, you know? Nayerd, thank you for the two months. For example, sometimes I play Mutanos and I get third place with Mutanos and I'm like, oh my god, I got third place with like the best hero in the game. I'm so bad. It's like, in this body meta game, I think the hero that you pick is quite important. How tall are you? I'm 178. I'm 178. One week ago, you had 179. 178, 179, depending on like the day. Also depends if I'm wearing anything. I guess if I'm wearing something, I'm like 180. It depends. Next week, he's gonna be 185. I don't know, it depends. 178, 179. I'm probably not 180. I'm growing, guys. I'm, 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 I'm young and growing. I have no idea how this board managed to beat Hooktask. Maybe Hooktask didn't high roll as much as we thought. By the way, this might be my first win ever with Vandar. I just usually don't play this hero, but he seems pretty good. The extra health definitely allow me to do some cool plays. This guy is way weaker than the Lady Vash. Crazy. Pretty much free win. Nice. Okay, I got my first win ever with Vandar, and you guys were here to witness it. I'll go cherish this moment with the coffee. Be right back. 